Hello, my name is Alexander Stan from IN2 Digital Innovations and I'm the coordinator of the WIF project. WIF stands for Widen European Access to Cultural Communities via Europana. The project WIF aims to develop and provide a framework for linking and presenting the connections between tangible and intangible heritage of cultural communities, also minority and underrepresented or misrepresented communities, and to bring them to the center of attention by making them accessible in Europana. The project has a European dimension and is in fact a collaboration between 12 European partners with very complementary expertise. IN2, ERIAC, the European Roma Institute for Arts and Culture, Photo Consortium, the University of Coventry, Center for Dance Research, CRDI, Ayutamento de Girona, Pede Shumbo, Top Photo, Arctur, New University of Lisbon, Thinkcode, K. Loven, and the Europana Foundation. The project has been co-financed by the Connected Europe facility of the European Union. On our website you can find a lot more information on our resources, our results, and you can follow us on Twitter at weave underscore EU and join the conversation using the hashtag weave lab day. Europana is an initiative of the European Union, financially and politically supported by the European Commission since its launch in 2008. Europana imagines a cultural heritage sector powered by digital and a Europe powered by culture, giving it a resilient, growing economy, increased employment, well-being and a sense of European identity. The Europana website is an amazing resource providing its users with over 50 million records uh, for discovering engaging stories and finding educational materials and well now you can also find very interesting content from the WIF project itself here a selection of videos from our partner ERIAC. WIF is based on four pillars First of all, it will collect and aggregate to Europana new content related to different types of cultural communities, including 3D models and point clouds, videos and photos. Some of the communities and organizations will for the first time aggregate content to Europana. The second pillar is communities involvement and capacity building. The WIF framework will specify hands-on methodologies for communities to select the content and collections to be aggregated and to engage with the project activities and Europana. The methodological framework will also explore the ways in which intangible cultural heritage and tangible cultural heritage can be more closely connected. Complementing these activities are capacity building actions for helping cultural heritage institutions to navigate their digital transformation and their ability to manage intangible heritage and heritage of cultural communities and to connect them to innovative SMEs, cultural communities and cells and to Europana. The topics addressed in the materials that um, are being created include information about sensitive topics such as um, the relation to identity politics and the issues of virtual repatriation and restitutions. A third pillar of the project is the WIF Toolkit. These are a series of tools for storing and management of 3D content, for manual annotation of videos, for automatic enrichment of metadata, and for the curation of um, and publishing of uh, scrapbooks and stories. The final pillar is engagement. This will be done through a series of Europana editorials, as an exhibition about uh, Roma, a series of blog posts, galleries and so forth. We reach out on various channels, you have already mentioned the website, Twitter, YouTube um, as well, newsletters. Um, we carry out scientific dissemination and we plan a final project conference. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and I wish you a great event.